Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. This is Steve, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Uh, this is Angelina Jordan uh, Fan Club The Shield, and this is a uh, birthday, this is some birthday celebration, okay? I know, I know, it was a couple of days ago her birthday was on the 10th, and today is the 13th, but uh, yeah, there's so much, been so much going on that... Uh, I'm just now getting caught up. So let's just consider it to be an extended birthday celebration, okay? Uh, I thought you guys might like to see this in any case, even though it's a couple days late. Uh, let's watch. Okay, we're live now. <laughs> uh, Okay. Wait. You can't see. Wait. Oh my god! Hi everyone! Oh, it's Angelina. my birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Wait, let's do this again. Are you off? No, I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for the wonderful birthday wishes. I I feel so incredibly lucky that you all, first of all, remember that it's my birthday today. And you guys, all this love you give me, I'm just, you guys are just inspiring me more and more to just make more music and share it with you all. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. What? My whole, my phone has been lagging. I've been trying to read all these amazing birthday wishes and I'm just, I feel so incredibly lucky. I love you all so, so much. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I need to blow it now with you guys. Check out a few things off Angelina Jordan's uh, fan club, The Shield page, uh, which is, has uh, has quite a lot of activity on it these days. I go stop by here once in a while, and uh, there's always a whole bunch of new stuff. And I know there's a lot of really good people out there uh, covering a lot of things. So 
Um, oftentimes, I don't know if I have a lot to add to the conversation, although I would like my viewers to be up to speed on pretty much everything that's going on. So I'll try to get out there and poke around and find uh, new items that I haven't posted before, and uh, we'll get those up and running for you. So that was uh, from that w the video we just saw was from here. Uh, this one is from January 10th, Angelina's birthday. Uh, Michael Groves says something about an article. I don't know whether that's something to read or a uh, or not, but we can watch. Let's watch it. I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen it before. Excuse me. I've had a really bad cough the last few week or so, more than that, I guess. Apologize if you see me duck out for a minute and I'll be uh, coughing somewhere. Uh, if you are a loyal antenna one listener, you already know Angelina Jordan's voice. At 17 years old, the artist scored an international hit, Love Don't Let Me Go, which is currently the most requested song on our schedule. Beautiful to hear that. And which uh, the track is part of an EP old enough released in July 2023. Nice. Let's uh, scoot on down here and see what else is going on. I'm going to just read it to you because I think it's easier. If you guys are looking on your phone, you probably can't see the thing. Uh, in honor of its 18th birthday, Antenna 1 decided to remember its trajectory so far. Check out. Despite her young age, the young woman started her musical career at an even younger age. At the age of 8, she participated in a program that would establish her next steps. On uh, Norway's Got Talent, she began to establish her nostalgic singing style, covering artists such as Billie Holiday, and won the vocalist competition. Uh, okay. As I understand it, the acts that were up there, you know, how they select like three, and then they pick, you know, the uh, the first place winner out of the final three or whatever it is. Uh, sometimes they create drama by, you know, picking somebody earlier down the line. But anyway, uh, I understand those, I think all the other acts were dance acts, to be honest, you know. So... Uh, not that that has any reference to anything. It's just nature, the nature of those kind of contests where you're comparing apples to oranges a lot of times. But Angelina, by far, as far as I'm concerned, and of course, according to the audience vote, the phone-in vote, she got like 40, almost 50% of the vote out of the, you know, the several contestants that were up to be voted on. So she got an overwhelming amount of the votes, and she deserved them. Uh, of course, I'm a biased uh, person in that regard, but she did deserve them. So, uh, anyway, let's move on. In 2020, he joined the cast of the second season of, series, uh, of the series America's Got Talent, The Champions. Uh, sometimes there's, you know, with uh, different language places, a lot of times there's gender uh, miss, uh, what do you want to call it? So, that's actually she joined the cast. Um, in this case. And not that it's a, we can't get past these little minor things here and there. Angelina, uh, America's Got Talent, the Champions, which brought together winners from different cycles. In her audition in front of the audience, she sang an acoustic version of Bohemian Rhapsody. We all know that one. Impressing the judges and going viral on social media. Check it out. Yeah, why don't we check it out? <laughs> Can never hear this enough. I'm just going to pause this here and read a little bit more of the uh, writing. The reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to avoid <coughs> a lot of times with the AGT stuff they 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 uh, they don't allow you to play it uh, unless uh, you know there's this fair use stuff and things like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really get it. Uh, <laughs> this and sometimes they'll, they'll get uh, I get what I call a YouTube spanking and um, uh, I, I, that could be a lot of things so uh, typically they uh, send me messages and things like that so it's just a, just one of those things so I, I'm trying to avoid that I'd like to I like to be able to show the video a lot of times what they do is they, they make it so I have to take it out um, and you know, then there's a gap there, right? But let me read a little bit of this first, then we'll go back. Then maybe it looks like I was, you know, trying to add something to the conversation, basically. That's what they're looking for, is that I'm not just re reproducing stuff. 
I'm trying to uh, add my own uh, take to it. So I might as well put in an effort to do that. I usually, out of respect for the song, I usually let the song play all the way through without my interruption. I try to do that because I think that's the right way to do it. However, they would prefer that I butt in there every few seconds and uh, say stuff. And uh, I just, I can't. I can't with Angelina's songs. I'm not doing it, okay? I just can't. You know, it's wrong, in my opinion. Now, to play it all the way through without an eruption and then go back and then, then break it up, okay, that's one thing. But uh, not constant interruptions. I just don't, I don't, I can't do it. I know a lot of people do it. I don't mind if people, people can do whatever they want. I just don't, it's not me. Despite his performance, which should be her performance, Jordan did not receive enough votes to reach the final stages of the contest. Still, he, which should be she, established herself, it says himself, herself, and the recording industry, leaning on this old, his, his, her old soul, old soul. Thus, I'm going to go ahead and just change the genders as we're going, okay? Thus, she released the single Million Miles in 2020 and Seventh Heaven in 2021. It's hard to believe how young the vocalist is compared to the maturity she presents in her songs. With a hoarse voice and precious authenticity, she brings out jazz elements in her interpretations. There are clear references to the work of Amy Winehouse and Elvis Presley in these recordings. Love Don't Let Me Go, for example, explores the difficult feelings that often accompany a broken heart. The lyrical, the lyrical self still remembers and misses this passion, despite everything that happened between them. Angelina uh, sings that she's looking for love, not only in, not only is she looking for it, but also wishes it had a face so she could identify it more easily. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Angelina Jordan, therefore, positioned herself as a young artist with great artistic potential. A 10 on 1 eagerly awaits her next steps. Congratulations, Angelina. So, let me go back up and we'll uh, see if we can complete this song. <laughs> the buzzer part with Heidi Klum, which is a shame. You know, I wish they'd show the whole thing. I don't know what the deal is with uh, copyright and all that. I don't really get it. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be, uh, you know, I, I, I thought media is supposed to present us with, I guess, uh, entertainment in some cases, education in some other cases, inf information. Um, I don't know why cutting off the, the, the golden buzzer moment has any relevance to anything, to be honest with you, uh, other than maybe they want to preserve that moment just for their own particular use, you know, the company that uh, you know filmed the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. If nobody sees it, then what good is it? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to save this forever. And then, and then what? You know, it'd be like trying to save a cupcake for a million years, right? Yeah, so what? Then what? It's a piece of dust, you know? I don't know. It's just me, I guess. So anyway, there you go. Well, let's move on. I think we'll, uh, what we'll do is, well, I think I'll post this video, see what happens with it. And then I'm going to move on and I'll do some other stuff from this webpage because it looks like there's a whole bunch of new stuff I haven't seen before. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. See you on the next video. Have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Goodbye.